Hello. Hello. Welcome to Enemies Weekly Album Club with me, Leonie Cooper. And me, Dan Stubbs. It's a special it's album a, club this week. It's doubly special. Why is it doubly special, Dan? Well, because one, because we've busted the format yet again <gasps> to, do, Wide open. to do a special Record Store Day edition. Indeed. But also special because this is Leonie's um, last album club. So she's, she's leaving us. She's gone to a, a rival <laughs> content provider where she's... Uh, Apparently won the job through her excellent idea, Mixtape Club, so we look forward to seeing that. <laughs> uh, next week, uh, we're sort of working on a hologram of next you. Next week, um, yeah, oh my god, amazing. The Coopertron 2000. So Me and Roy Orbison headlining yeah. <laughs> album club. Yeah. Cannot wait. I'm trying to replicate Roy Orbison's hair at the moment. So, You're doing yeah. quite well, to be um, honest. So, but anyway, so it is a special one. As, it that's is. the sad part. Sad part. I'm sad. Now uh, fun part. Yeah. It is tomorrow. Record Store Day! Happy Store Indie Day. Christmas! People like, who uh, love vinyl, this is your time. Like vinyl? It's alright, isn't it? Like Kieran? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Then got you'll lot, love. Got a lot of money. <laughs> yeah, you'll need to. Like being money. told that the thing you're queuing up for isn't there anymore. Because so you have to get something else. Some twat was there at two in the morning. Or just stay at home and buy it all on eBay the day then after for look. loads more money. You can absolutely love Don't Record do that. Store Day. Don't do that. We have. Some of records stored in front yeah, of us. So like, if you were looking for some of these in your local shop and thinking, why aren't there any copies of it? This, we've got it. Them. We've got it. Uh, but we're going to tantalise you in a yeah. sort of uh, QVC style. We're, we're going to s- unbox. I feel or, like we should have some... Or de-sheath. ...bedding music. Do, 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 da, 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 da. We, Firstly, let's yeah, just get stuck in. We've got loads. Yeah, we can't... We can, Firstly. Uh, yeah. Who is it? It's the Arcade Fire. What okay. is it? It is limited edition coloured and numbered vinyl, first time on LP. This is the original Arcade Fire demo EP recorded in August 2003 in a barn in Maine, right. featuring an earlier lineup of the band. Is it good or is it rubbish? Oh, right. Well, that sounds fun, doesn't it? So, this like is their first ever EP. So, it's before a funeral then? Yeah, they said first ever. Their demo EP. Right. Whip it open. So, you can get that. Ugh. I'm going to pre open the okay. next one. Well, I've got scissors. I hope there aren't any horrible live ah. accidents. So, this is the Arcade Fire thing. Yeah, this is the, that's not the arcade fire thing you've got there, though, Dan. No, no, I'm just pre opening it. Ignore this. Okay. The action's going on up here. Right, yeah, yeah. Don't look down there. Don't look down there. Pay no attention yeah. to the man behind the curtain. Yeah. Because uh, oh. the thing about records today is, of course, a lot of them come on uh, flashy coloured vinyl. That's so um, exciting. Because vinyl is nice to look at, isn't it? Which you can't, so you can't nice say about um, a Spotify account. What colour is this one? <laughs> it's going to be black, isn't it? It is going to be black. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, a what turquoise. Is that? Teal. Is it teal. Teal. It could be. You know what? That's more of a teal than a turquoise. What about disc one. How long is this EP? No, this, that's uh, only. That's it. That's it. You sure? There's only one. Yeah, yeah. Right. Okay. It is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven tracks. Oh, including it's got stuff like No Cars Go right. on it as well. So early, early. Also, the song I'm Sleeping in a Submarine. <laughs> We've all been there, Win. Right then. Okay. That's, that's that. one. So that's this is that. something you can possibly get tomorrow. Do you like uh, country music? Maybe. Do you like prisons? Yes. Like, you would absolutely <laughs> love this enormous box set of <gasps> Look Johnny at the Cash size of it. Folsom Prison. Look at it's it. It's so long. How long was his gig there? I mean, he was in prison like, for a while. No. Like, oh my God, how many? One, two, three, four, five what? discs, and then a sort of a... And a booklet. A booklet. A pamphlet. Mm, he's got some pictures of him at the prison. Oh, lovely. Was he actually in prison? No, he just no, went and just sang went up to, some songs. Yeah. Because he's it just includes a Korean vinyl on vinyl for the first time. Well, that's yeah. not true because I have it on. The um, no, it's the, it must be parts of it. Oh, uh, okay. The complete box set, both oh, legendary Folsom Prison shows. So there's two shows across. Right. Okay. Five bits of vinyl, and then there's oh sorry, across four bits of vinyl, and then there is a rehearsal show, which is. Uh, oh. Yeah. If you. Bloody hell! That looks brilliant. With record store day releases, there's a lot of kind of ephemera, isn't there? Like, does anyone need to do the rehearsal from? I do. You do? Okay, right. Oh, so lovely that, tune nice. as well. Nice. You, Isn't you that could nice? actually make a lovely wall display with I've, these, couldn't you? And yeah. maybe I will. So whilst you're doing okay. that, Dan, I'm going to... Oh, nice. look! <gasps> it's Bruce Springsteen Seems with his like greatest tips. It's a lot tips. of your favourites doing this. Though. Yeah, maybe, maybe I called in all the vinyl, Dan. Maybe called in the vinyl. <laughs> maybe I only called in the things yeah. I like. Who knows? Who knows? Let's have a look at what is in this one. What is interesting about this? Oh, okay. What colour vinyl do you think this is going to be, Dan? Um, red. Well, I don't want to... Um... Or blue, like his collar. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
I, is, that was a guess, so I thought that the art director like behind you probably would have matched it to the... Yeah, yeah. that's good, isn't it? So this, this is a great nice. tip that's been around for a while, but I think this is the first time it's been on yeah. such beautifully coloured vinyl. Ooh, that's mm. nice, yeah. I like that. Right then. What? Right. Mm. Uh. Can you ever get enough sexual healing? <laughs> uh, yeah. No, yeah. no, yeah, well, no, we can't. I you can't. can, but you're oh, talking is. about the song. Do you right. like? Are you a fan of the twelve-inch version of Sexual Healing? Because <laughs> that is. Why are you laughing? That is on here. The twelve-inch version is on here. Twelve-inch version um, of Sexual Healing. And, and, and new remixes: is the Kygo remix, the Sunburn remix, the Felguk remix. I don't know. Great. How to say that. No, that's. How to say that. Yep. That's, like that looks good. Are you, who yeah. doesn't like the Famous brilliant use of the someone, AOA? Um, when someone stole my iPod to put on in the office, it, I, it turned out I'd been walking to work listening to sexual healing, and then that, that followed me around for a good few years. That's that, a good the, way the to... The idea that I walk around listening to Wake up, wake up, healing. wake up. That'd be a good way to wake up. Yeah. And look, doesn't That's he nice. look good in his, in his Adidas as well? <laughs> he looks absolutely... It's going on my right. side, that one. Okay, what's next? <laughs> All right, okay. I gave I you, I gave you Springsteen. All right. <laughs> That's not how it works. Okay. Yeah, that's a good one. All right, Cypress Hill, this Black doubly, Sunday remixes. This is doubly appropriate because today is 420. Happy 420, everyone. I hope everyone's <laughs> high as fuck. Now, this is the classic smoke, weed smoking album, isn't it? Indeed. It's got hits from the bong on it. Is Th there is the a remix of hits from the bong on here. There is a remix of Insane in the Brain, When the Ship Goes Down. The ship? The ship? I thought it was when the... Right, maybe it's a sort of sensitive <laughs> version. <laughs> this is for, for kids. The kids version. Yeah. And tell me. Is oh, it there it is. And when the ship is on side A and then when the shit is on mm. side two. Great album. Is that on flashy vinyl? Is it on flashy vinyl? No. No. I don't believe it is. Elvis, what colour do you think it is? Um... Uh... Ooh... ooh uh, Who's my logic from before? Red. 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 <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Oh, down, right. download card. This is a sort of a nice solid red. Mm. That is a solid, that is classic, or oh, like the a classic RCA, RCA label. Yeah, RCA lovely Victor. orange RCA label. And this is a live Elvis Presley uh, record recorded at NBC Studios Burbank on June the 27th, 1968. Yeah, that's 68 comeback special. The, right, yeah. Yeah. That's what I said. Yeah, no, you said, you, you said it was just like some gig. That's what I said. It's the 68 comeback special where he wears the Show infamous, the infamous <laughs> leather jumpsuit. There are two shows actually, the 6 p.m. and the 8 p.m. show. I know, yeah. yeah. And he doesn't it, wear the jumpsuit for both of them. Why did they call them. it the 68 comeback special? They called it the King in the Ring. Yeah, I don't know why they haven't said that. It's got that. a ring to it though. No, that King was, in the Ring. That wasn't a pun intended because it's not a good pun anyway. No. But we have one. And you get to download it because... Um, I would download the hell out of that. They're all, they're all double vinyl these days. There's so much getting up and sitting down, isn't it? Um, <laughs> what's this? Yeah, I'm not quite sure what that it's is, Dan. I had a look at that earlier and I was slightly confused by it, but it looked quite interesting. No, 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 no. Pick it up, because it, seem, it seems quite entertaining. Well, it's got it's a weird compilation that's got Bob Dylan and St. Vincent and Kelly Okereke. I mean, yeah, the, it's the, called the, Universal. the Venn diagram of people who want those things is small, I would It's say. called Universal that's Love. That's the record. If you're, if you're Wedding... at six o'clock and they've come out with a list and said, we don't have that, we don't have that. We do still have this, and then you'll, you'll buy it out of just shame that you've keep for it. Is that actually for charity, Dan? Buy the record. <laughs> it is a do classic song reimagined to support marriage equality. Okay. Mm. Right. <laughs> but yeah, Bob Dylan, St. Vincent, Kelly Okarecki, Valerie June, Benjamin Gibbard, and Kesha singing, singing songs like uh, My Guy, Mad About the Girl. There you go. Now, this one. We should keep in the office because we do have a game where we like to flick uh, rubber bands at the lighting rig, um, yeah. which you invented, didn't you? Oh yeah, we do. Um, That's the special game these, that I invented. This has got rubber band of life, uh, and then rubber band of life, then also rubber band of life and rubber band. So uh, it's by Miles, Miles Davis. Davis yeah. By the legendary Miles Davis. It's not legends. Nice. In nice artwork. Record Store Day is good because you get to like listen to old albums by old, mainly dead people, and enjoy them. That's why I like Record Store Day. Who do you think the artwork is? Who do I think it is? Mm. It's a bit like a Basquiat. That's what I was thinking, but I didn't want to say it in case I was wrong. Are we both wrong? What's this then? What's this then? <laughs> this is Rye with Reverie, which is the self-produced debut LP from True Thought signing Rye. Yeah. Could be Re, could be Re. The no, fans of FK Twigs, uh, Kayla no, no, no. and James Blake. There's only 500 no, no, no. of them, Dan. It's on purple vinyl. Come on. Yeah, but like, the thing about this is... Let's have a look at it, it's on purple vinyl. They probably sold 500 anyway. <laughs> 
more like it. Purple Come vinyl. On. Purple vinyl. Right. Okay. What are you getting stuck into I'm there? Hitter, so, you know, stick with us as we get through. Oh, so much plastic here, which is bad for the environment, Called as vinyl. I've been finding out. Um, Purple vinyl? I'd say that was more of a burgundy. Mm, a Merlot. Gen- <laughs> a claret. <laughs> a magenta. Yeah. It's uh, not a Gallagher's High Flying Birds. Ah. With, uh, it's it's a, a beautiful world. And he thinks to himself, what oh, a beautiful world. And then put it out on. Oh, oh, oh. oh what, what, what? It's like a stormy sky. Oh, Ooh. okay. Does that win most impressive looking vinyl so far? I think I don't it know. does. Let's leave this one out somewhere so that we can. So compare. what's what's the deal with this? What are these songs? Do it's we just know? Just a remix. There's it's some Andrew Weatherall remixes. remixes. It's monochrome vinyl, they call that. Yeah, okay. Well, well you think is... that, see, see, that's impressive, but then the one you're about to pick up, Dan, it's literally... An, it's an earthly good record, see? It's the lovely eggs with... Earth. 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 Oh, right, yeah. earthly, yeah. It's an excellent... Um, yeah. I just can't think of it's any more. a real cracking piece of vinyl. Yeah. Oh, um, um, I'm out. You want to poach one of mine? <laughs> it's the... This is Eggland. Yeah. Is this <laughs> I, is this real? Is I don't what you're know, thinking? but it's produced by Dave Fridman, who yeah. uh, did the Thumb Lips. It's yeah, stuff, it's, it's so. the, the lovely eggs. Oh yeah, it's a shape. It's Good like vinyl. an egg. It's like an egg. Leave it in the packet. Okay. Look at it. Okay. Don't eat it. Look. Oh, well, no. Am I the president of the United States of America? No, this is the new uh, Laura Marling project. Oh okay. Is it? Hello. I believe. It's nice. Ooh. Might be. Now that is a very Verdant green, isn't it? It's so green. Lovely. It's not. That's, I can't see through it. It's completely opaque. Yeah, but it does. Oh, actually, or is you it? Favor, you can see my fingers. Do you favour a translucent or an opaque record? Opaque. Right, translucent. So different in so many ways. Mm. Um, it's Tim Burgess. When's he gonna grow old? Never. He Never. gets younger by the day. And this is his album. What does it say on the little sticker? Don't turn it around. Uh, as I was now, release recordings are from the very last days of 2008. They must be good. Oh, then it's not the new one time. then, is it? Uh, it's past. It's got appearances from Deb Gooch from My Bloody Valentine, Josh Hayward from The Horrors. Right. Martin Duffy from Primal Scream. Okay. And uh, Stefan Halperin and Lady Hawk. Used to be in Claxons. Also, this is on his own O Genesis label. Mm-hmm. Burgess, obviously a big champion of vinyl and you know good, all round good good egg uh, and this is congratulations him because this is good egg. the catalogue number on this is OGen 100 which means he's put out 100 things on his own label so rather than and it's on a round of applause oh translucent blue now that is that is a really mm. solid yeah I like that that's a good colour well that's done, a royal Timmy blue B. that is very nice yeah um next it's Rag and Bone Man, who is the UK ambassador for Record Store Day this really? year. Yeah. What does that involve? Ah, uh, I don't know. Just visit do... each one of the shops. Yeah, because the... there's like two hundred. walk. About two hundred stores in the UK are doing Record Store Day this year. Right. So basically, all yeah. independent record mostly stores record doing them. Stores, are they? Yeah, mostly record stores. There might be some coffee shops who also sell a bit of vinyl. So yeah, I don't know. He has to go to all of them. Right. So he's going to be knackered, man. He's going to be absolutely knackered. Yeah. He's only human, after all. <laughs> Uh, George, yeah. I'm just trying to. Re- I couldn't work out what that said. It just said George has got a friend. Right. So this is recorded live songs? to vinyl. It's recorded live to vinyl. <laughs> Don't set the world on fire. Six tracks. Maybe it's just two tracks. Maybe it's a single. <laughs> yeah, I think maybe it's. I just mean, two could tracks. open it, but I was joking, Dan. Yeah. I'm going to open it. Okay. Shall I prepare another one? While we're yeah. Doing that? Prepare. Oh, just to, just do a little one. A little seven inch. Oof. I'm going to open this because I bet this is quite the fuck. <laughs> That's not one. the point, Dan. It's uh, rock and roll on one side, uh, the Sunset Sound mix, and it's Friends, the Olympic Studios mix on the other side. Oh, that's good. Ooh! It's nice. Very kind of inspired Sunny. by the third man colours there. This one is also yellow. Did oh, you. Oh, um, I didn't know, did I didn't know that. These? I didn't know that at all. You know what I like, Dan, in Still vinyl? When the little scratchy bit of the numbers on the inside. Yeah, sometimes these people used to put messages on that. Really? Yeah. Like, uh, like, I wish I had an example of one, but you kind of see so right the name of the person that says the exchange usually, which is where they're mastered. But then people sometimes, if they had a sassy employee, yeah. they would write oh. a little offensive message on the. Was it group, always so. offensive? No, no, sometimes it'd be just an in joke. Just hello! If you think of any 
do write in the comments below. This is, I like the look of this. So this is NARS mm. uh, last year at the Kennedy Center, which is in Washington, playing yep. with uh, the National Symphony Orchestra, just doing all of Ilmatic. Mm. Cool. Which National Symphony? The American? I would imagine, yeah. Because so they're at the Kennedy Center. Set. Oh. Very heavy set. Ooh. I went to the Kennedy Center once down to see Did Kendrick you? Lamar perform with an orchestra. How was that? Very good. Is this where people go to perform with an orchestra? Yeah, it's right next to the White House. I don't right. know if you've heard of that, but it's where the president lives. <laughs> It's very big, very important. Oh, that's a good picture, isn't it? Yeah, Iconic. It's very nice. No, it's in a dicky bow. Okay, classic, classy, old yeah, school. I mean, Who in a you way, don't, don't need it. He's the pioneer here, because everyone else is, oh, can it be pink? Yeah. And he's just like, no, just it's like, it no, out. let's just, just do this. Old school classic. Van Morrison. <laughs> uh, oh, God. This is oh, like, this is like someone's brothers. granddad's record collection or your All record mine. collection. It's the Allman Brothers same. band. Yeah. It's a live album because oh, absolutely live. No, the only thing better than an album, I think, is a live album. <laughs> but yeah. This is an ex I like, like, you can't get the atmosphere, but the songs don't sound as good as when they're recorded. It's, it's really the best of all worlds. <laughs> Especially with a band that probably played for, played for about four hours a oh, show. I bet they did. Sort of, That's I like, bet there are songs here that are Dan, a side of with vinyl. over 150 minutes of live music. See, look, This you, is recorded yeah. in July 1970, eight months before Phil Maurice. Uh, Atlanta International Pop thinking, Festival. Who's Phil Maurice? That's what I was thinking. <laughs> this is number 5,127. But before Ooh. Phil Maurice did what? <laughs> Who doesn't love the Allman Brothers? Mm. Mm. Dab. Maybe Dab doesn't good, love the Allman Brothers. They did that tune. What's that one tune? It's got a girl's name. Yeah. Jennifer or Rebecca or Jessica or... Jessica. It's Jessica. Jessica. It's on like Top Gear. What's it go like? <laughs> 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 Dang, dang, dang. That's all I can do with that. Here's a good one, charges. Dan. It's a picture disc. Okay, picture disc. Now. So it's Prod 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 picture disc here. Prodigy of Mob Deep, who sadly passed away last mm, year. Yeah. So this is Keep It Thorough. And this is it on. Ooh, do you it's think nice. any disappointed Prodigy fans will buy this <laughs> and then think it's a record called Of Mob Deep and then they'll be disappointed? Yeah, but I think they'll swiftly realise yeah. and they'll be like, actually, well, this is quite thing? good. And then yeah, maybe it will get an inspection. Nice so. picture discs. But yeah, there are hardly any picture discs. You don't see that as much as you used to. Parental advisory, explicit yeah. content. I like it this when I see that. Good. Oh yeah, that Bad is team. good. I've seen this. Okay, all yours. Rock bass and DJ Easy Rock. So this is um, now it, you were praising Marvin Gaye's street style, but that's good. Is that Valor? You have that top, don't you, Dan? <laughs> yeah, basically. <laughs> I never have the balls to team it with the. I don't even know. Do you have the, the bottoms? No, I mean. So this this is just it takes two to make a thing go right. That uh, one. Mm. Mm -mm. It takes two to make it out of sight. What an all-time classic <laughs> song. Is and then, uh, is it a whole album? Though? Yeah, it's from 1988. It's the 30th it's anniversary edition, I would assume. Absolutely classic, old school hip hop. Oh. Are you going to take that home and put it on this weekend and dance around your living room? Yeah. Throw all, some all the heavy, heavy yeah. shapes. Oh. Right now, do you think it's on Colored Vinyl? Uh, no. Well, it is. And applying, okay. <laughs> applying my, role, my rule of logic. Is it red? No, it's gold. It's yellow. Orange. Settle on one? One of those. What? Orange. The, the Velour tracksuit. I'm going to your first answer, which was... It's red. It's red. Correct. Red. Red and is the most popular colour of okay, vinyl. It's absolutely the most popular colour of vinyl. Yeah, definitely. It, yeah. Do you think maybe it's the cheapest? I don't know, really. Dan, I once went to a None vinyl pressing cheap, plant and watched how vinyl records were made. That sounds really and spectacular. <laughs> <laughs> it's quite fun. <laughs> like one of those features so, you used to do on Blue Peter when you were a kid and you turn it off. Yeah, I felt like Richard Bacon. <laughs> Why? What does he do? <laughs> he was Were just high? a friend. <laughs> little. <laughs> <laughs> no, they make it so all the, the vinyl comes in like these little pellets of coloured plastic. Yeah. And then they have, yeah. Okay. No, no, and then they melt it, don't they? Yeah, they melt it and then they squish, squish it. it. It's like making a burger, but instead of meat, but it's not plastic as pellets. But delicious. Yeah. Well, some of it's delicious, like this. Of course, this is just the tip of the iceberg in terms of the release. There's a lot more than this, but it's, not everyone yeah. sent them in. So um, this is um, Raichi Sakamoto, yep. Japanese trance and ambient godfather. And you included the press release you saw through. <laughs> exactly. I'll clear who it but is. But this is, so there's like know. tracks on here that have never been heard before. I mean, I haven't there's heard two any tracks. of that. Uh-oh, 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 oh, uh -oh. uh -oh. I've <laughs> Sorry, no. Did you stack these? Yeah. Look at this! Yeah. 
It's a Sparks record. Now, Sparks are already good, but... Could you pass the scissors and I can do the final, the big, the yeah. big hit? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 But like, look, so this Sparks is... are already good. So they've, they've got this Hockney style then by the pool thing. Yeah. And then the record, it's just a floating hippo. Look it's, at that! Oh, it's a shaped, it's a shaped picture, this. That is pretty good. Ah! Jesus. <laughs> Take someone's eye out with that hippo. Yeah. And the song is called You've Earned the Right to Be a Dick. I mean, let's be honest, who cares what the songs are? <laughs> It's not it's about that, is it? Toys, isn't it? Give me the scissors, please. Damn. Okay, sorry, yeah. So this is the PS de Resistance. Oh, do you know what I've done there already? Is I dropped that in a bit too aggressively and it's just... It's made a hole, is it? Absolutely no resale. Don't worry, now. it's not mine, it's, it's Andrew's. So it's, it's Andrew's, so, is it? Yeah, don't tell him what you did. He won't, he won't watch this. Okay, really. so I'm saying at present then, number one, the okay. shaped hippo. Number two, this moody, sort of snowy, snowscape. No. Yeah. No. An old scape. Yeah. But this is, um, so the American ambassadors for Record Store Day today, this year, tomorrow, oh. are Run the Jewels. Mm, okay. Oh, look at this. So in a kind of pill metal box fashion, yeah. they have released their own metal box. Ooh. Every time you move house forevermore, you'll be putting that in a box and think, why have I got this? <laughs> You know what I mean? Look at that. It won't fit on your, on your rack, because it's a it weird shape. It won't fit in a rack. Hold that. Oh, okay, so it's got sort of loads of, it's got oh. loads of comic characters. A slip see, mat. I can see, um. This is a, a wacky slip mat, oh, with a, a koala smoking a spliff while riding. What animal was that, sorry? A koala bear. <laughs> koala. 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 Smoking a spliff um, whilst riding a crocodile. Okay, that's cool. Uh, and there's more, there's, there's more. Ah, no, it's Paul Starring. There's, yeah, it's the saving the best till last, Dan. <laughs> well, that's, they could have made it half the size. It's so you can store all your Run the Jewels vinyl in oh, it. Oh, in that case, then, it's an absolutely brilliant space saving device, and I think that's very good. Yeah. Uh, this is, what is this? It's Run the Jewels 3. So this is the album that came out earlier this year. Yeah, and then you can put... Is that the, the normal cover? No, it's a special it's a one. Cover, so. Mar Marvel yeah, stuff. You, you like Marvel and stuff, no, don't you? No, not really. Okay. DC. Duck guy. Oh, Howard the Duck. <laughs> Superman. Deadpool. <laughs> Spider-Man. 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 Spider <laughs> One of the key things about Spider-Man is... <laughs> He's, he doesn't yes, always dress like that, does he? Stuff, yeah. yeah, well that's not when he's you know, just on his day to day. I, I don't know who some of these are, I don't know. Anyway, don't know. Golden... Well, it's like, I was going to say it's good, it's good, but it's still number three. So number one is... Sparks. You, have, you don't have to agree. I don't, I mean, I don't agree. This really excited me when it came out, but the more I look at it, the more bored I get by it. What about the egg? The egg. Let's give it to the egg. The egg. The egg has it. Wins for being the most comical, yeah. endearing, egg-tastic mm. vinyl. So if you're planning to shell out on anything this weekend, do consider this is egg. Line. Consider eggs. Consider this is egg. Line. If you're a vegan, though, you probably won't want it. No. Well. I mean, I've not even paid for these, but I've already got a sort of buyer's remorse. How about you? <laughs> I've had a lovely time. So let's uh, have a little, little more record store day discussion. Okay. So it's tomorrow. Yeah. There's a lot of stuff going on. Yeah. If I was going to go to any of them, which I bloody well might actually, it's going to be a sunny I day. You should. Are you not doing a PA anywhere? <laughs> we could have done live album club. Oh. In like uh, some shopping, like Walsall or something. We could have gone to Kingston, we could have banquet records. We could have done, done that. Like, if you want us to come down banquet yeah. records, we will come down tomorrow. I'm free. Um, if you go to payment. Rough Trade West, is good. Right. Isaac Gracie and Goat Girl are playing. Right. You go to Rough yeah. Trade West, which is in London. Goat Girl, we did that one here, didn't we? Um, if you go to, here's a, there's a good one in Wales. Spiller Records. I think in, you're going to regret doing that. Actually. Wales? <laughs> <laughs> well, I just yes. said Wales. What? What? That wasn't mm. an accent. Wasn't an accident. This is all right, it's all right. In Cardiff in Wales. Yeah, Cardiff uh, in Wales. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Lauren Laverne is doing her six music show live from there. Lauren Laverne. Are... <laughs> Whoa, Dan. <laughs> it's Jokti. <laughs> you just did Jokti. Oh. It was a joke. <laughs> yeah, right. Because <laughs> I did whatever. Anyway, so Gweno yeah. and Griff Reese are playing there. Oh, that's good. Exactly, yeah. yeah. If you go to Rough Trade in Nottingham, you can see the lovely eggs from egg shaped vinyl fame. Rough Trade in Nottingham? Yeah, Didn't apparently it's a five, 5 Broad Street, Nottingham, Nottingham, NG1, 3AJ. Okay. If you go to Rough Trade in Bristol, 
Did you know there was one there? No. You can see um, Turbo Wolf. That's how, how much we have our heads up our asses living in London. If you go to Rough Trade East, which is in London, uh, which we know definitely does exist, uh, Heinz are playing and Little Sims and Tim Burgess of Tim Burgess's vinyl a second That's ago. He's, he's DJing. It's a good lineup. There's 500, over 500 uh, record store day releases that you can get at Rough Trade East. Right. It's Do loads. you still have to go and queue? Because I, I used to. I joined the queue a few times. I think you can tell that I have mixed feelings about record store. You day. look like a record store day queueer, though. Yeah, I and mean, then you're sort of in the queue and you're looking at right, your tote bag. Am I one of them? Yeah. And then you're sort of, yeah, and then yeah. they're looking at you thinking, am I like him? And they're like, yeah, oh, God, yeah. It's, I don't know. But. It's like sucking all the joy out of it. Do you still have you? to queue up from like. I've seen pictures of people who like, are already queuing. Think, people are already right. queuing now, what are you the day do? before. It's like car boot sales. Like the weekends are for like sleeping in a bit and stuff. Mm. You know? Don't do, make me a fun activity that makes me have to get up. But unless early, yeah. I, don't go to bed. Oh, pull an all nighter. Pull an all nighter. And go yeah. straight to your yeah. local rough trade or yeah. Spiller Records or you, like, Banquet Records or Flashback Records. I'm just going to start naming records. Stores. Piccadilly Records. Piccadilly Records. Shout is, out. is that your fave because of your hometown? Yeah. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, you could do that, and then by the time you get to the front of the queue, you'll be so drunk, you'll leave with this like, mystery grab bag, you'll go home, <laughs> pass out, and then you'll wake up and be like, what did I buy like, this for? I spent like, 500 yeah. pounds! <laughs> yeah. yeah. Anyway. On a Van Morrison 7 inch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Fuck. don't do that. Don't come down here now if you want and this get one, it from just us. Write right into us in the comments and we'll post it to you. Oh, yeah, shall we? Yeah. Yeah, let's do that. If you want that. If you want the van. Right in, and right we'll send it to you. We've not even taken the plastic off it, no. so. It's still mint. Mint can dish. All right. All right. Cheers. Well, there me. Dan. It's been an absolute pleasure doing this with oh. you. Oh, I'm gonna, don't, don't cry. Save my tears for later. Thanks, Dan. Been lovely to visit Album Club with you. Yeah. Really, there is no Album Club without you in my mind, but there we are. <laughs> there actually is an album club next week. So do tune in again. Tune in. I might not be here. You um, won't be here. It'll be great. Thanks to uh, Paul for putting up with this. Yeah. Bye bye.